Hey everyone, welcome to Being Classy. My name is Jessica and in this video, I want to give you a good overview and tour of Google Drive and how to use and get the most out of Google Drive. All right, so here I am in my Google Drive account. Now, if you don't have an account yet, you can sign up for free. There are also paid accounts that you can use to get paid features, upgraded storage, or you might have an account with a school, work, or organization. Once you're in my drive, this is what it looks like. So you'll notice the my drive is at the top left corner of your screen. This is housing all of your files, all of your storage, all of your organization. You also have the computers button. Now this, this is if I am saving my drive on my computer. So you might want to sync all of the files that are on your computer and back them up to Google Drive. So you can go ahead and download backup and sync for Mac or for PC. You'll notice in the bottom left hand corner of my screen, it's prompting me to download Google Drive onto my computer to back up and sync all my files. But I don't have that. I'm just showing you the basics of Google Drive via a web browser. On the left hand corner, you also have a shared with me button. Now, this is if anyone in your work organization or anyone else with a Google account has shared a file with you, those files can be found easily here. All right, then you have your recent folder. So any documents that you've worked on recently can be easily found here. You have your starred folder. Now this would be any of your documents maybe that you're actively working on that you've starred. You can get quick access to them in your starred folder. And then you have your trash. Now this storage space, this shows you how much storage you have used. The free account does come with 15 gigabytes of storage. Now this new button on the top left corner of your Google Drive, this is going to give you access to a few different things. If you click on it, you could create a new folder. This button would be really beneficial if you're organizing your Google Drive, maybe you're organizing by uh, classes, English class, science class, maybe by bills, bills, uh, maybe by personal uh, things such as videos, pictures. You can create new folders and they'll end up in your Google account. So let's say that I'm creating a folder for my science class. I can go ahead and create it. And then now you'll notice I have this folder job documents and science. The really cool thing about this is if you right click, you can also change the color of your folder. So maybe I want my science to be green or maybe I want my job documents to be pink. Okay, so that's the first feature of the new button. The second feature of the new button is uploading any file that's on your computer. So let's say that I have a Microsoft Word document that I would like to either convert to Google Docs or just make sure it's being saved to a cloud-based storage. I can go ahead and find that file on my computer and upload it to my Google Drive. The next feature is you could upload a whole folder from your computer. So maybe you have a science folder on your computer and now you want all of your science work to be saved to a cloud-based storage which is what google drive is so you can access it from anywhere at any time you can go ahead and do a folder upload after those first three buttons you'll notice this is where you can access google docs which is google's word processing application you can find google sheets which is comparable to Excel, which Microsoft has, or Numbers, which is what Apple has. Google Slides is a presentation application where you can create presentations similar to PowerPoint or Keynote. And Google Forms is something that you can use to create surveys or quizzes with. You also notice that there are more applications uh, in your free Google account that you have access to. So that is what the new button is for. The next thing I want to show you is the different options that you have with your files in Google Drive. So for instance, let's say this report right here, I, I would like to see the different options that I have. So if I right click on this file, I'll see a few different things. Again, I right click on this file. I could share this file with someone else. If I click on share, I can input somebody in my organization's name. I could add people, groups, um, their email addresses, and then I could share this file with them. The other things you can do is, again, you can get that shareable link. 
You could show the file location. You could add this to a shortcut to your Google Drive. You could move this. Maybe this was supposed to be in my science folder. So if I click move, I could move that to a folder in my Google Drive account. The other thing you have access to by right clicking is you could rename the file. Uh, you could add it to your starred file. You could make a copy of it. You could download or you could remove it, which would put it in your trash. All right, and here are some other helpful buttons. You'll notice if I click on a file, there are buttons that appear on the top right corner of my Google Drive. If I don't have anything clicked, all I have up here is a list view. So if I don't like the view of my Google Drive, I could change it to just a list view of everything. Uh, whatever works best for you, I could go back to grid view and I could also just view the details of different documents. So if I'm collaborating with somebody on a document, that is really helpful to see the different activities. So you'll notice if I click on this file and I'm clicking on this I button, it's showing me the details of this file. So it's showing that I've not shared it with anybody. It's showing where it is, when it was last modified, so on and so forth. I could also, if I was sharing it, see the different activity uh, that's being done on that file through this I button on the top right corner. Now again, you'll notice if I click on a file, I have these options up here. I could get a link to share that file out. I could add somebody to that file by sharing it with a person or email address. I could preview the file. I could uh, delete the file, move it to the trash. And there's some other actions that is pretty much the same as right clicking on the file. So if you click on the file, it's pretty much the same options as if you right click on the file, you'll notice. Google also has a powerful search option. So let's say you can't find a file that you were working on. Maybe you didn't save it properly to one of your folders or you're looking for a file quickly that somebody shared with you. You can navigate here to search for that file. There's also some more advanced search options that you could click on uh, to find something. So I hope this video was helpful for you in getting started navigating and making use of Google Drive. If this video was helpful, would you please like this video and make sure you've subscribed to Being Classy to stay up to date with all my tech tips and tech tutorials. Don't forget to stay positive, pursue the moment, and help somebody. Thanks everyone, catch you next time.